Well, the Navajo Nation is seeing a huge spike in coronavirus cases. Right now, there are currently 921 cases, more than half of them here in the state of Arizona. And sadly, 38 people have died. And this morning, we've found out that nine employees with the Navajo Police Department tested positive. So to try and slow the spread, the Navajo Nation is extending its weekend lockdown through the first weekend in May. Navajo police enforce that curfew by setting up checkpoints and they will hand out tickets if you violate that curfew. The president of the Navajo Nation, Jonathan Nez, is joining us this morning live. Uh, we thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. I know you are in the middle of a fight for your people, for your nation, so I appreciate your time. How dire is the situation right now? Well, thanks for having us on the show, Javier. And as of yesterday evening, every evening we get a report from our Navajo Epidemiology Center team. And 823 people have tested positive for COVID-19. And we also are beginning to start tracking the border town numbers of our Navajo citizens. There's 98 of our citizens that are living in border towns with uh, the virus. So a total of 921 positive cases here on the Navajo Nation. Uh, of overall tests that have been given, 4,741, and total negative tests have come back in at 3,239 with 38 uh, deaths. And, you know, we, we just want to say thank you to everyone that's involved in this war, uh, this battle, all our warriors on the front line, and that's just not here on the Navajo Nation, but clear across the country and all over the world. I know that this virus has affected uh, everyone, and you know there's some uncertainty here, but but we're all in this together, and we appreciate the folks from the Valley who have donated uh, food and supplies to the Navajo Nation. Uh, you know, funds are finally slowly coming into the Navajo Nation that we're allocated for the tribe from the federal government. So we are hopeful that we are going to get uh, better test results here on the Navajo Nation because and these test results that I just mentioned, Javier, are 48 hours old. But once we get these rapid tests, these AVID rapid tests kits, uh, we should be able to get um, you know results within less than an hour. So that would help us in this war to have uh, um, up-to-date information so we know where these hot spots here are here on the Navajo Nation. And I know you're compared as one of the hot spots across the entire nation, many comparing uh, the Navajo Nation with what we're seeing in New York and in other hot spot areas. Let me ask you this question because we know a lot of help is coming in from Utah, from New Mexico, from here in Arizona to get these tests done immediately. How important is it as we see those numbers surge, but how much is that is just testing versus the actual spread? Well, Javier, our team here on the Navajo Nation are doing their very best. As a sovereign nation, we have to extract this information from the various counties, uh, various uh, state health departments. So first we started off by uh, verifying uh, our residents uh, that actually live here on the Navajo Nation. But there's so much uh, interconnection with our border towns that we started to track that information. 48 hours, you know, it used to be three to four days before we get our our, uh, our results back. But now, uh, 48 hours, our team has uh, lessened that to that uh, time frame. But uh, now with these new tests that are coming to the Indian Health Service here on Navajo, uh, like I said, less than uh, half an hour uh, test results so that we can begin to look at the entire nation, Navajo nation, and to see where the spread is uh, a high and so that we can begin to uh, place some of these uh, positive patients into uh, isolation or quarantine centers here on the Navajo Nation. But let me just let you know, Javier, I, I truly believe that our uh, shelter in place, our um, curfew, uh, our weekend curfew, uh, the message that our healthcare uh, providers are giving to our Navajo people is working. I, I would think uh, I mean, these are some uh, high numbers per capita here on the Navajo Nation, but I think it would have been a lot higher if it weren't for the message that we're uh, spreading here on the Navajo Nation in terms of 
washing your hands with soap and water, social distancing, and the safest place safest place to be is at home right now. Uh, one of the problems you're facing on the Navajo Nation is uh, there are lots of residents without water, without electricity, and then you have homes where there are multi-generational homes, mm -hmm. entire families inside. So that really uh, hurts the spread or actually helps that spread, and that's why we're seeing such a large number there. Well, I mean, you, we the data has us 15 to 30% of our Navajo citizens don't have running water. And I, I hope that if there is a fourth uh, stimulus package that uh, is being considered by Congress and uh, by the White House, that they'll put a lot more dollars into water infrastructure projects, electricity, broadband, uh, housing for tribal communities throughout the country. So when I speak for Navajo, uh, you know, I think the rest of the tribal leaders throughout the country are saying the same thing, that we need help. The first citizens of this country have been uh, at times pushed aside, but we're a resilient people. Uh, and I think with the help of everyone here, uh, our surrounding uh, communities uh, and the communities within the Navajo Nation, we'll all get through this. And, uh, you know, we're resilient, as I said, resilient people, and we'll be stronger uh, from this. So, uh, you know, with the Navajo people that are uh, listening to the TV, uh, so thank you, Javier. Uh, thank you very much. Our thoughts and prayers are with you guys as you continue this fight. Be healthy, be safe. Thank you.